This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. everyone, welcome to Catitude. I'm your show host, Michelle Byrne. Today's show is really going to be fun. I looked up all kinds of really fun and interesting cat facts. So this show is going to be all about cat facts. Interesting, but true things about your cat. We'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. As a pet parent to a dog and a cat, you're going to run into some catastrophes. Your dog eating up the cat's food or scavenging in the litter box is one of them. With Door Buddy, you don't have to worry about cutting a hole in your door or struggling with a pet gate. Door Buddy's adjustable door strap installs in seconds and without any tools. Finally, an easier way to let cats into rooms and keep dogs out of trouble. For 20% off Door Buddy, use code CATITUDE20. That's CATITUDE20 at thedoorbuddy.com. That's thedoorbuddy.com. Give your cat back its space today. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. You know, normally on Catitude, I have a guest, but I occasionally like to just, you know, talk to you guys. And I was looking through some information that I found um, online and I thought one thing led to another and I found all these really cool, interesting facts about cats, you know, little quirky things. Now, some of them you might think, okay, I've heard that, but I promise you there are some really, really unique things in my list. All right, so let's get rolling. So in talking about cats, and these little facts about cats are in no particular order. They're just random, but very interesting. So let's talk about the whiskers. A lot of people, if they don't know about cats, think whiskers are kind of like mustaches on hopefully men. But no, 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 not even close. First of all, cats are really sensitive about their whiskers. So don't touch them. That's also why sometimes for cats you need, they prefer a food bowl that's flat. So their whiskers don't touch the sides, something important. But also what's interesting about whiskers is cats whiskers grow to the width of their body. So they kind of use their whiskers as feelers. So if the cat's whiskers from all the ways on the left side to all the ways on the right side measure, say, I don't know, five inches, six inches, that is the width a cat can go through. Kind of cool, right? I wonder how that would work on humans, huh? We have nothing like that, but it works for cats. So that's why their whiskers are so important to them. Moving on, this is something most of you probably know, but just in case, you know, most ginger cats are tomcats. They're male. There are some female ginger cats, but most of them are male cats. Did you ever look into your cat's face and think their eyes are just huge? Like they almost look like little marbles, right? They're so big. Well, cats have the largest eyes in relation to their head size compared to any other mammal. That's right. Now, we're not counting fish here. We said mammal. So that's why if your cat sometimes looks like just two blinking eyes and whiskers, that's why. Okay, this is something, if you got cats, you probably have had this happen. Cats are really finicky eaters. They are so finicky that if they find food unpalatable, they will refuse it to the point of starvation. Now, I don't think this is true for any of my cats, but it's one of those strange but true facts. You might know about some of these foods being toxic to cats. You might not know about all of them. So make sure anytime you're like sneaking a little treat of, you know, people food to your cat, there is no onion, garlic, grapes, raisins, or chives. All of them are toxic to cats. They can either cause intestinal issues 
or be fatal. So again, that list, no nos for cats, onion, garlic, grapes, raisins, and chives. And for the onion and garlic, yes, powder, garlic powder, onion powder, that counts. So keep it away from your cats. You know, if you've listened to Catitude, one of the things that is near and dear to my heart is making sure your cats are fixed. There are so many feral cats out there and there's so many cats that the shelters can't take in and so forth. It's just horrible. But besides, you know, it's the right thing to do. It also helps your cats live longer. For male cats, their lifespan can increase by 60% longer. For female cats, 40% longer. So if your cat is not spayed or neutered, get it done. It should be done within, I believe, the first four months, maybe three months of your cat's life. But even if your cat is older, you can still get it done. It's a little bit riskier. Get your cat fixed. You know how when your cat comes at you and you think you're special and all of that and they just love you so much? Well, it's not really that they love you so much. It's that, well, I'm sure they do love you that much. (laughs) What I'm trying to say is cats are very territorial animals. They're predators and they mark their territory. So cats see you, their pet parent as their territory. So when they're laying all over you or putting their scent on you or rubbing around your legs, they're marking you. They're effectively saying to whoever is else is in the cat universe, this is mine. Speaking about how cats mark you and do things to you, do you ever wonder what your cat's doing when they're giving you that kneading kind of massage? They usually do it on your belly, which is not good if you've just eaten, (laughs) or they do it on your back. And it's just this like kneading motion with their paws. Well, when they do that, you might think, oh, my cat loves me. Just give me a little massage. It's actually not quite true. It's actually something that cats do to soothe themselves because it reminds them of when they were kittens and they were needing their mother's teeth to get the milk out. Okay. You know, we always try to understand our cats and cats are a little hard to read. They're not the same as dogs. You know, dogs are much easier to read. Coming from a dog world and then going to cat world, I had to really learn a lot about cats, especially because Dennis was such a doggy kind of cat being a part Maine Coon. So let's talk about cat tails. You know how when a dog wags his tail, it's kind of like the dog saying, hey, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. You know, give me a treat. What's up? Not the same when your cat wags its tail. When your cat wags its tail, it means You are annoying me. Go away now. When a cat's tail is straight up, it generally means they're playful. When a cat's tail is swishing, and I see this a lot, Molly does this a lot, kind of means they're curious, like what's happening here? And it just swishes back and forth. You know, they're just kind of anticipating what's going on, checking out the situation. Now, of course, and we've all seen this in animated pictures, if your cat's tail is straight up and fur on end, that means go away. Your cat is very agitated. You'll generally see this, and I've rarely seen this, thank goodness, but you'll generally see this when your cat is highly agitated. So not a good thing. We're going to end this half of the show on this fact, which is, Really interesting. This would be a good trivia question if you want to, you know, remember a trivia question to ask at some point. What do you think cats have in common with giraffes and camels, right? What do you think? Who would guess this? They all walk the same way. How cats walk, and of course, giraffes and camels, they move both of their right feet, then both of their left feet, both right feet, both left feet. And they are the only animals that do this. So great, great trivia question. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back after this message. Molly, here's your dinner. (coughs) Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. 
The cat tree tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your cat tree tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. We're having a fun time today on Catitude, and we're talking about different trivia, you know, and odd, quirky things that our cats do. Strange but true facts. So let's talk about cat's sandpaper tongue. If you've ever had a cat lick you, it's not like a dog. Their tongue feels like it has, uh, it feels like sandpaper. Why? Well, you might think it's for grooming. That's true. That's one reason why. Because, you know, cats, unlike dogs, don't really need a bath. They groom themselves with their tongue. But there's another reason, and this goes back to the fact that cats are predators. Cat's sandpaper tongue is meant to lick bones clean of shredded meat, which might sound a little gross, but remember, cats are predators. In the wild, way back before they were domesticated, they stalked their prey. They would attack their prey. They would lick the bones I know I'm thinking in my mind, but this is how it was. They would lick the bones and that's where their tongues came in handy besides grooming themselves. We've all seen this cute scenario, which is not that cute, but you know, the old uh, cat stuck in the tree, firefighter has to come get the cat down. You ever wonder why that happens? I mean, they climb, they're good at climbing and jumping. This is it. Cat's claws curve downward. So in order to climb down a tree, they would actually have to go down the tree backward. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a cat climb a tree backward. So cats can go up. They can't come down. That's why they get stuck in trees. Let's talk about some body facts. You know how cats will sometimes lay belly up? Dennis does this all the time. And he doesn't even mind, actually, if you rub his belly. But generally, it's kind of rare to see a cat with an exposed belly. And what it means is they trust you. You know, their belly is actually one of their most vulnerable spots, unlike dogs. So if a cat's belly up, you should be delighted. They think the world of you. Also, and this isn't that pleasant, but when a cat sticks its butt in your face, You know, if if people did this, this would be rude and disgusting. But when a cat does it, it's actually a sign of friendship. It means, hey, I like you. Here's my butt. We all know that cats should drink water, but they're really, really picky about how they get their water. That's why so many cats won't drink out of a bowl. They prefer when the water's turned on from a faucet and then they play with it. That also probably explains why the little water fountains are so popular. And it explains why we have three of them in our house. Each cat prefers a different fountain. Spoiled? Yes. But that's another great reason why consider getting a water fountain for your cat if you just have a still bowl. It's helpful, very helpful for cats to drink water. They drink more water when it's out of a fountain. They love moving water. Did you ever wonder what your cat thought of you? Well, think no more. I have the answer. Cats kind of look at people as big, hairless cats. Yes, that's true. Everybody in the world is a cat to them. Did you also know that cats can dream like people? Kind of interesting. I never knew that. And I don't know how that was figured out, but kind of interesting. Here's something. We were just talking about cats and water. Cats can actually drink seawater to survive. Not the same for us humans. Did you ever wonder how cats got to the U.S.? Now, I know Catitude is heard all over the world. And 
the U.S., you know, in compared to a lot of the world is fairly young country. And there's been, you know, talk about this. But even going back to ancient times, cats were used as rodent killers. They were workers. That's why cats were on ships way back, way back before America was discovered. So cats actually came to America as rodent killers and they stayed in America as rodent killers. Speaking of that, there, and I'm happy to hear this, there are actually 200 feral cats that prowl Disneyland that keep the park rodent free. Now, I'm not sure if that's as true for Disney World, because Disney World is in Florida. And believe me, there's plenty of stuff in Florida, but I think there's more rodents in Disneyland because it's drier. You would have in Disney World more lizards and bugs. So maybe the cats in Disney World catch bugs like the roaches. Ew. You know, there's always a back and forth, you know, are there more dogs or more cats? Are you a dog person? You're a cat person. Which one? Which one? Well, there's actually more cats as pets than, and these are just U.S. stats, sorry, but there's more cats as pets than dogs. Currently, there's probably about 90 million cats that are pets in the U.S. For dogs, the number's kind of high, but not quite as high. There's about 70 million. However, there are more households that have a dog than the amount of households that have cats. Why? And you've heard this. I know you've heard this on my show before. Most cat households have more than one Not everybody has five like I do or 19 like Rita Reimer, but there's generally most cat households have at least two cats. Why? They keep each other company. You know, they're so independent. They're so easy to take care of that having a second cat is not as big of a deal as, you know, having a second dog can sometimes be. Did you ever wonder why cats are so flexible? Have you ever watched your cat and thought, oh my God, this is like cat yoga, you know, and your cat's in this weird position and all this stuff. There's a reason for that. Cats have 53 vertebrae, which is the reason why they have a super flexible spine. Humans only have 34. If you ever wondered, boy, I wish I could get in that cool position like my cat is. I do a lot of yoga. Probably not going to happen. You're missing about 19 vertebrae. You know how humans can be identified by their fingerprints? Cat noses are the fingerprints of cats, just like dog noses are the fingerprints of dogs. You know, they say that cats don't like citrus. However, Cats can taste citrus. They can't taste sweetness, which doesn't explain every time I have a cookie in my hand, Dennis pops up. But then again, Dennis is so uncat like nothing he does surprises me. He even taps me when I'm eating a salad. He wants my lettuce. What? And lastly, my final cat fact is this. The surface area of a single cat, including all of its hair, is the same as the surface area of a ping pong table. Wow, that is a lot of hair. So if you ever wondered why your cat pukes up hairballs, although I know there's medication for that, but some cats just really puke up hairballs, that's why. I'm sure if I was a cat and had that much hair, I would too. So I hope you all enjoyed these cat facts. I want to give a shout out to my uh, cat crew, Dennis, Charlotte, Molly, Jethro, and Sammy for teaching me about cats. Thanks to Nikki, teaches me about yappy dogs. Thanks to my producer, Mark Winter, for making me sound amazing. Oh, I so appreciate all the hard work Mark does. And huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone listening to Catitude. I appreciate it so much. You know, there's no me without you. So thank you so much for listening to Catitude. And remember, lose the attitude. Have catitude. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.